Greetings, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. We are here on R. Kelly Appeal TV. It is November 21st, 2021. I'm Shine Wisdom, your host, and I'm super excited for our fifth episode. You know, it's about the vibration of moving into a new area of thinking, you know, a new vibration, starting the year all over again. And it's just a super exciting time for us. So for those who are fans of R. Kelly, those who are just observing the appeal process, such as I am doing, um, for those who are just, you know, here for, you know, whatever your reasons are, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel because we upload a video every Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's get right into the vibe of the episode. So in this segment, we're going to talk about um, three things. We're going to talk about why some Hollywood celebrity stars fall from grace. We're going to talk about what are some points we all need to take from the R. Kelly rise and fall. You know, he was a Hollywood king of R and B. And then a third thing, what are some ideas to consider regarding the appeal leverage R. Kelly is facing? Now, I want you to know right now there are no real legal updates to report regarding Robert Sylvester Kelly since November 2nd, 2021. So I guess they're in the process of deliberating and putting the, the defense is putting together their arguments and then they're going to start, you know, sequestering, you know, some of the people that they're going to use for the purpose of um, procedure. So the criminal justice part of it is kind of, you know, mundane. So that, that's what happens during deliberations and trials and appeals. Things don't really happen, but when they happen, they happen quickly, they happen fast, and they happen very, very like, uh, like it'll go a long time and then nothing will happen and then all of a sudden everything will show up. So we're going to talk about some morality um, perspectives that we can look at too figure out if R. Kelly receives his appeal and he is granted this, what value should he project upon his life from this point forward? Or if he is not granted, what should take place? So we're going to talk about all that as well. So number one, why do some Hollywood celebrity stars fall from grace? Mm. Many celebrities whom I will not name have done some great life performances in Hollywood. I mean, great deal of performances. Um, yet their names will still be defamed due to some misfortune that befell them during their career. So some people make choices that are human. Okay, some major conversations were discussed over the weekend. I give a shout out to my new subscriber from Rhode Island. Our conversation was phenomenal. Thank you so much for your input as well. One being that one part of a discussion I had this week had to do with seeing stars as being greater than human. Some look at idols as icons and idols. <laughs> When life begins to happen to them, the fans are dismayed by making this actor or singer or other title person more than a human. Some fall from grace for this very reason. Now in Hollywood, we know gossip, negativity, and scandals, they sell. So it, it, it has all also been stated that stars fall from grace because they all come into the limelight with their own problems and life issues. And we don't see that because we only see what they give us, you know, and and so hmm, how do we deal with that? How do we look at those celebrities who have been disgraced after serving many years in the spotlight? And the falling of grace is defined as a loss of status, respect, or prestige. How do we look at that? This is what happens when we place another person on a pedestal and make them a star in our lives. All humans fail at times. So some fail two and three and four times. But it's due to their decision making. So those who let others down have once let themselves down. So that's something we need to consider when we're looking at our question this week. 
um, you know, what do, what do some Hollywood celebrity stars, why do they fall from grace? Um, what do they have in their mindsets when they're, they're thinking that they're invincible? You know, um, and if we can remember the song, the R. Kelly song, I believe I can fly, is the same as the Michael Jackson song from The Wiz, You Can't Win. You remember they were both in, you know, a field, a cornfield. And if we take that a little bit deeper into a subliminal message, they were connected to a prop that all they had to do was come down, but they couldn't. Because once you're that high, you can't come down. And it's just like the Oscars. When you're given that little symbol of an Oscar, it makes you realize that you're that small. <laughs> Don't become so great that you think you're greater than this icon in your hand. When you're given that Grammy, that Grammy is small. It's not big as a human being. No, because it's not to be idolized. It's to be recognized that this is... This is what has been granted to you, okay? Even though hard work and determination has taken place over time. So recalling how both songs took place in a cornfield, if we go deeper into the subliminal message, we're gonna realize that they were props. One needed help to get down. Another was sitting so high on a pedestal and still could not fly. So the stories behind our Hollywood stars are also contingent on how well they can defeat the demon on their own backs. Everyone comes with a, mm, how can I put it? Everyone in Hollywood and in life, we all come with the vice. That's what we do. We come with the vice and it is up to us to um, learn how to handle and stay humble during those engaging times and don't go too far away from the radar and celebrities must know this they can't go too far to independence because if you become independent you have to remember where where your humble beginnings began and a lot of the celebrities who have fallen from grace began to do their own thing and they began to strategize farther away from Hollywood. So Hollywood was unable to keep them from the corruption, from the misfortune, and they just stepped out on their own and became independent. And then at that point, they lost their, they lost their integrity, they lost their morals. So what are some points we all need to take from the R. Kelly rise and fall? Many of us are not Hollywood kings of R&B, you know what I mean? We're not status driven to where the whole world knows us. So when we make our fall from grace, it's not as powerful as others who are in the limelight and in the spotlight. So the first point goes back to an ancient text of the love of fame and the fortune being the root of the human downfall. So last week in episode four, we discussed the value network. Well, we discussed the value net worth, sorry, of R. Kelly being negative $2 million. This was very eye-opening. And to me, as I did my research, mm, when compared to the self-worth, the power remains within the being Regardless, if R. Kelly is still singing within the walls of incarceration, nothing has been taken from his God-given talents. However, if he is on the inside, depressed, harming himself, defaming himself, of course, after the reality of his convictions being charged has set in and him being found guilty, once that's all set in, if he does not eventually begin to sing again, I mean, create choirs in there, create opportunities for other individuals that we don't even know yet, the voices of people we don't know yet, then we know that all was done for his self vain glory. In this, in this situation, if this occurs, it would have been ego running his life as a singer. And he was a beautiful, he is a beautiful singer. And in taking and in talking 
with an R. Kelly fan, it was noted that they feel that he could be in there still making music for those stars who are yet succeeding to become a new voice. And we haven't even heard from them yet. The gifted and talented of another must continue. And I thought that was very unique. I thought that was very powerful because many people, when another person has been defamed, they will take their all of their beliefs about the person and switch it like it never happened. And is that really real? Or is that something that's fake and false as well? Because when in good times and in bad, we should um, remain consistent with what we always believed. Now, let's talk about worth of self. This is the next lesson we need to learn from the king of R&B. Self-worth is defined as self-esteemed through the evaluation of one's own worth. So, if he is negative $2 million in value, his self-worth must be more than that in order to balance it because it encompasses a belief about one's own self as well as an emotional state of triumph, despair, pride, and shame. It is up to us when we have been defamed. What do we do with that from that point on? So again, even if his appeal is granted, at what point and what value do we release this individual back into society what value do we then give R. Kelly? Performance is defined as an act of staging or presenting through entertainment. At what point do we say that his performance then becomes greater than it was before or less than it was before? See, and this is what I mean when I say that we give of ourselves when we are intuitively giving of ourselves we're doing it whether someone is watching us or not but many people um, will fall back in love or possibly remain remain you know detached because of how other people will perceive them and in this um, performance it's defined as the act of staging or presenting through entertainment that's all he was he was an icon to be used and abused but many people never paid attention to the human part of R. Kelly. Possession is defined as the state of having, controlling, or manipulating something. He was possessed. He was a possession. Hollywood possession. He was a icon of America that was used as a possession. And when we got, when, when we felt that enough was enough, that possession became valueless in our eyes, the way society throws people away. However, his popularity was defined as the state or condition of being liked, admired, or supported by many people. But when those people choose not to support, popularity immediately goes away. So these are the intricate workings of what Hollywood presents when they create stars and when they create celebrities. So the point being made here is that one can be given the world immediately and the world can make that person the greatest, the world's greatest. And without the words of the individual, one can lose sight of even the greatness from within them. When all the fame is gone, possessions are taken, values are decreased. So the ultimate power again resides within and that can never be taken away. R. Kelly is going to have to work 100% at inner reflection, growth, work beyond the cameras, beyond the voice to empower himself to live with the convictions even if the convictions are, if, if the appeal is won and everything is being granted to him, he's going to have to learn to deal with the people who fabricated the lies, who, you know, told the mistruths or who didn't tell the truth. Um, the inner work takes a great deal of time 
and it cannot be done overnight. So R. Kelly has a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. So this is what I want to talk about um, when, when we look at what are some points we need to take from the R. Kelly rise and fall. And it's not just about him. We're all in the same society that looks at everyone in the same way. If there's nothing, even in your relationship at home, even in your relationship at work, if there is something you cannot offer someone, you need to be very cognizant and aware of the individual surrounding you. If they would just drop you like a dime, a bad habit, and walk away from you when you've given all of your greatness to them. How guaranteed are we in this world? And number three, what are some ideas to consider regarding the appeal leverage that R. Kelly is facing? Now, I've spoken with a few experts this week within the field of criminal justice regarding the appeal of R. Kelly and what their views are. No one really wanted to be named um, due to their career standing, so I get that. But I really thank you um, for taking the time to communicate with me on this issue. So I have summed up a few thoughts. One must examine and notate the actions of Kelly at this time while he's being incarcerated so we can learn regarding what his mental states are, what his psychological states are. The observational studies are very, very important at this time. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help him heal. And the honesty is going to heal the guilt. Um, proving one's importance can be very well um, important when creating a figment of an imagination that is grandiose or neurotic. So psychological inner work will not make Kelly um, just out to be a liar or a fabricator of truth. But it will, however, begin the healing process within his life if he did do what he has been charged and convicted of doing. Okay? And this is the part where we as society has to make the decision how strong are we going to be with the, with the rulings and even the appeal. How strong are we going to be as a nation about this individual or anyone in his position. So in the American criminal justice system, we, know, we must realize ignorance is not a defense in the court of law. We all need to understand that statement. I have to ask the question before leaving this podcast today. Would R. Kelly be in this moral situation if he wasn't who Hollywood created him out to be through popularity processing? Is R. Kelly the only one who should stand accused for the entertainment that millions enveloped during his height of success? These are two questions that I'm going to ponder over this week, and I'm going to talk about them next week on R. Kelly Appeal TV. Thank you so much for viewing this podcast, and um, wow. this was another good one <laughs> because it was something that I had to think about as an observer I'm looking at the choices that can be created that can be made on an individual based upon the, the decisions that has been made you know millions knew him at the height of his success but only a few recognize him now wow Thank you for all the open conversations, emails, comments, likes, and subscribes. Please keep it real, always. And we'll see you next time.